Hello and welcome to Infinite Table. In this video, I want to show you how to get started with Infinite Table and live data updates. Let's go a bit over what we have on this page. This is the shape of our data. We render 1K developers, each with ID, first name, last name, age, and so on. We have a few columns defined. We load the data from a remote location. In addition, we have grouping defined by country first and then by city. And some sort info, we sort by country in descending order. We render a single column for, for the groups. So this is what we ended up with. We need to get hold of the Infinite Table API and the Data Source API. The Infinite Table API will use to know what's rendered in the viewport because for the sake of this example, we want to update the just rows that are visible in the viewport so we can better see them. We can define the onReady function and here we have the param. This param contains the API and the data source API. The data source is where we can do updates. We can do data source API dot update data and we need data, for example, ID 50, and then we can specify we want to update the age to whatever. Okay, but let's do this and simulate some, some streaming data. So let's do it uh, with a set interval and every 50 milliseconds let's do something we want to retrieve what's visible randomly select a few items from what's visible and then update them we'll use data source api dot get row info array this is the array of row infos that back what's visible them so row infos yeah row infos some of the row infos or the group rows, so we need to filter them out. Filter and row info info is group row. We keep only what's not group row. And then we do map and we do info const data. Okay, here we have some of them being partials or nulls. So let's do as developer. We have the data. And let's update rows to to update, let's say five from zero to rows to update. We want to do something. We need to if not data length. Let's return. Yeah. Because this set interval might be triggered initially uh, before the data has been fetched. So we, we want to, to make sure we are fine. Also, we won't do all the cleanup needed. This is just a demo video, so we'll keep it simple. Let's do const data equals, let's randomly pick an item from the data array. Data, let's call it this item and get random. We have here an utility function get random array item from the data. We want to only keep what's visible. So const range, and then we do API get visible, get vertical render range. Yeah, and then we, we want to do a slice from range render start index and range render end index. We only want to take rows that are in the rendered visible, currently visible index. Okay, as soon as we have an item, we can do data source API update data. And it's very important that the item has the ID and we want to do age, basically item age plus get random int between minus 10 and 10. And let's hit save. You see the age is already, and let's here put, math max from zero and whatever age or from 10 yeah and let's also randomize the salary we'll go from a maximum from item dot salary plus get get random in from i don't know minus ten thousand 
minus 1000 to 1 1000 yeah and already if I reload salaries should also tick let's randomize the currency currency and let's do get random array item from USD GBP EUR GPY yeah let's say these are our okay reload you see they they tick you notice that the aggregations also tick we could very easily add some some styling to columns let's style the age column so we have here value return value greater than let's say 90 then we do tomato otherwise value greater than 60 then we do light green light green otherwise value greater than 30 we do light blue otherwise transparent let's see what we get oops yeah sorry this is the return background okay yeah so you see everything is ticking let's do green and here i know white and then also color black the data is ticking everything is clear thank you for watching and hope you find it useful